Elvis Fields. I'm from Walgett. Uh, I've been smoking since I was about 13, 13 year old, and now I'm 50, 55. Because I've seen everybody else smoking. And I just thought of, you know, getting cigarettes. They were sitting around, around drinking and smoking, so I thought I'd do the same thing. I'm smoking two packets of Winfield Red a day. I haven't tried to give it up, I just, it's just that when I got sick, I just gave it up. That's, that was it. Been a non smoker. Oh, well, the smell of cigarettes is one. And not waking up in the morning coughing and spluttering. And basically just not, just saving money from not smoking, buying a packet of smokes. A lot of people think it's hard, but it's not hard. I, I don't think it's. So now, like I said, if you've got the willpower, you can do it. Well, I've, I've talked to people, I know people, I still around people that smoke, and I, know I, talk, I talk to them, I tell them that, I, I, how long ago I gave it up, and explain that to them, and they say, yeah, we're going to stop, but for some of them it's hard. Some of them, some of them do, do stop, but some of the other people, you know, just, like I said, it's just too hard for them to do it. Well, I notice a lot of the Aboriginal people now the, the old, old, older ones had given up smoking because of what it was doing to them when they were younger, when they started smoking younger, at a younger age, you know. And I find now that they're, 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 most of them are giving it up. Even my dad, he smokes, he smokes every day and he's about 80 and he's, he's still he's down to one packet now. And he told me the last time I went home that, you know, he's going to give it up this time. Because he asked me about smoking when I, when I, miss, I was sitting, we were sitting down talking. And he said, I'm going to give up smoking. Did you used to smoke? I said, yeah, Dad, because his memory was going. And I said, yeah, I said, I used to smoke two packs like you a day. And he said, yeah, the doctor told me to give it up. And he said, I'm trying hard, but now he's down to, I think, he was smoking 25, now he's down to 20, I think. Plus he's got a back, oh, but he's got a packet of tobacco there with him. <laughs> I think it'll be harder for him to do it because of his age and that. I didn't realise how bad what it was doing to me. Because so I went in the hospital and I had an operation. I, I stayed in there for two months. And like I said, as soon as I walked out of the hospital door, I smelled cigarette. That was the first thing I smelled, was the smell of a cigarette. Because I couldn't move from the bed, so... I couldn't move from there and couldn't go out to have a cigarette or anything. Oh, yeah, I, I'd crave it, yeah, yeah. And they said, do you want to put, want to put a patch on you? I said, no. So I'll try and do it myself. And like I said, when I walked out, I just couldn't stand the smell of a cigarette. And to this day, I still can't stand it. You know, if I see people smoke beside me, I walk away from them. They promoted cigarettes too well in the day for people to smoke, but now it's not in your face all the time, you know what I mean? It's not there. The only time you see it is if you see someone walking along with a cigarette now, smoking, that's it. It's the only time you basically see it. I'd just say, use your willpower and try hard to give it up real hard because you'll feel, you'll feel real good in the end.